All right. Hi, everyone. Teacher Jella here. So this is second episode for my podcast. So welcome, everyone. Uh, last week, I just talked about uh, the stick month. It is November, so I talked about stick month and what you can do about sticks with your young children. Today, I want to talk about myself because, you know, just in case you don't know much about me, I think it's, it's good to uh, introduce myself or talk about myself a little bit. So today, I want to talk about why do I talk about growth mindset? So like I said last week, uh, on my social media or in my business, I like to talk about growth mindset a lot. Like that is the theme in my business. Why do I talk about growth mindset? Okay, let's start with the definition of growth mindset. So the term growth mindset was first introduced and used by an American psychologist, Carol Dweck. So according to Carol Dweck, there are two different mindsets, like uh, in terms of learning. So one is growth mindset, on the other side, it's there is a fixed mindset. In my words, growth mindset is simply a mindset that you believe that you can develop, you believe that you can grow. And the fixed mindset is a mindset that you believe that your talents and abilities are innate and fixed things. So you can't develop you can't improve. Uh, and everyone is, uh, everyone has a mix of growth mindset and fixed mindset. It's just about, do you have growth mindset in most of the times? Or do you have fixed mindset most of the times? And it changes every time, it changes over time. It can, you can have different mindset in different situations. Those are the the definitions of growth mindset and fixed mindset. Why do I talk about growth mindset? Growth mindset, it's, uh, it's like a core thing in my life. I'm a big believer in mindset. So mindset is, uh, is an established set of beliefs and mental attitude or inclination. This definition is by dictionary. So I'm a big believer in mindset and I believe when I change my mindset, I can change everything. Well, it might not be everything, but I can change many, many things when I change my mindset. What do you think about that? Let's look at some examples. I will give you a, a situation. This is my like real life situation. Uh, to go to work in the morning, I have to go really early because my workplace is near elementary school. It gets really, really busy with the cars and with the students and parents. It gets really, really busy. So to avoid the business, I go like way earlier than the school time. And what's the first feeling that I get from the situation? The first feeling that I have in the situation is, oh, it's annoying. It's annoying. Why should I go this early? If I don't need to come this early, I can spend more time eating breakfast or I can sleep more. So, annoying feeling is the first thing that I have in the situation. But I don't want to feel that way. You know, it's a negative feeling. So, I don't 
want to have this negative feeling all the time in the situation. Well, this situation is something that I cannot change, right? I can't change the situation. I can't change my work time. I can't change the school time. So the situation, it is not under my control. So if I want to feel differently in this situation, what should I do? First, I have to know that and I have to believe that there are other ways to look at the situation. There are other perspectives I can have. And there are also good sides in the situation. What's the good side? What's the good side about the situation? Uh, it gives me time to go to a cafe. So I actually go to cafe every morning because I get there so early and I have about like 30, 40 minutes left before my work starts. So I use that time to go to cafe. So it gives me time to walk. You know, to stay healthy, you have to walk 30, 40 minutes every day, right? So this morning time actually gives me uh, time to walk. So that's a good side. Another good side is uh, I get to have some me time in the morning with the coffee. Actually, cafe is one of my favorite place. And this morning time, uh, let me have that coffee time. So that's also a good side. When I look at these good sides of the situation, you know, I feel I get different feelings, right? I get positive feelings. So to feel differently in this situation, what did I do? I had a different belief, right? I had to believe that there are good sides of the situation. And I had to believe that I was able to see the different sides of the situation. And I had to believe that I am able to focus on the good things of the situation, good sides of the situation. Okay, let's uh, look at other example. If I want to change my job, what should I do? You have to find another job, right? But before that, to do that, to find another job, first you have to have a belief that there are other jobs that I can do. This, this, my current job is not the only thing that I can do. There are other jobs that I can do. And you have to also believe that I am able to find the other jobs and I am able to apply for other jobs. You know, to change things, we have to have a different beliefs about things. Do you have things that you want to change in your life? I'm sure you do, right? I have many things that I want to change in my life. There are things that we can change and there are things that we cannot change. There are things that we can control and there are things that we cannot control. And if we want to change things, we will have to work on the things that we can control, right? And then first, first step of doing that is changing our mindset, changing our belief. So I want to ask you about this. What is your biggest or main purpose in your life? For me, I have missions and purposes in my life. And one of them is growing. Do you know this quote? When you stop growing, you start dying. This quote is by William William B. William Baruch. What do you think about this quote? I think this is so true. At least for me. When you stop growing, you start dying. So I'm a person who loves learning and growing. And I 
want to be a better version of myself every day. So growing is a really big part in my life. And growing is actually one of my uh, life purpose. And it has been always like that. It has been always an important part of my life. And whenever I hit a wall in the process of growing, in the process of bettering myself, the major thing that helped me to solve the problem or get out of the situation was a change in mindset, a change in belief about the world, a change in belief about the situation, a change in belief about myself, and a change in belief about the possibilities. So I think the mindset especially growth mindset is fundamentally what we need to work on while we live our life. To live our life, we have to have the belief that we can change and we can grow and we can develop our abilities that will actually help us to move up to the next level continuously. This is how uh, the growth mindset becomes a core value in my life. And with this core value, so I came to this thought because I believe that the growth mindset is the, the most important thing that we humans need to work on. This is what I want to teach to young children. You know, we teach young children so that they can be, they can be independent learners, they can be independent people and live their lives happily, right? I understand that social skills are important, gross motor skills are important, and academic stuff is important. Those are all important. Like, I really think academic stuff is important too. I know there are some areas where academic stuff is not the first important thing, but I believe that having knowledge is as much as possible, including academic and practical, like having those knowledges doesn't harm you and it can actually make you feel more confident about yourself. So I think academic stuff is important too. But if somebody asks me to pick just one thing, that I want to have with me in my life, I will choose a good mindset over all the other things. A good mindset, the gross mindset. In other words, it's the belief in myself. I would choose that. So that's how I uh, started teaching about growth mindset in my business and what I do in my business is I share the tips that the parents can use at home I share the activities that you can try with your child at home I feel very vulnerable here because this is my personal belief and it's my personal way of living life. And I know there are other beliefs and other ways of living life. So I'm curious, do you have similar beliefs with me? If you have similar beliefs with me, I hope you can come with me in my journey of my personal growth and my teaching. So yeah, that was about me. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you next week again. Thank you for listening. Bye.